Video editing is one of the best things you could do as a hobby. But you will need a really powerful computer to do it the best way, right? But here's the thing. Now you can do almost all kinds of basic video editing just within your phone, even if it's not that powerful. Confused, right? Don't get mistaken. I didn't say that you could do the same kind of multi-layer editing with all those mask VFX and all those stuff on your phone because there is no such app till date at least kind to my knowledge that offers the full-fledged editing experience on a phone that is equivalent to professional editing softwares that you could use on a Windows Mac or even a Linux system but wait don't just go away I'm not discouraging you from trying video editing apps which are available for Android. Because even though they don't give all the features that Premiere Pro would give, there are still so many apps that are really powerful. And in this video, we are going to take a look at a few of the best apps that you could use to edit videos on Android. So in this video, I'd like to introduce four different video editing apps to you. Some of these apps are also available for iOS, but in this video I'm gonna focus on Android. I wouldn't like to rank these apps from 4 to 1 because each of them lacks certain things and each of them has a special feature of its own. None of these video editing apps are full-fledged editing apps and don't expect anything like that from these apps. I would like to suggest you to try all of these four apps and then you will understand why I said that. I can assure you one thing that by using all of these apps together, you'll be able to make videos that you thought impossible on smartphones before. For example, Premiere Clip is good for editing to the beats of the music while other apps are not. But Premiere Clip lacks a lot of the other features that you could do, you could get from Filmora Go or Cyberlink PowerDirect. Similarly, you can see that KineMaster has many features that PowerDirector or Filmora Go doesn't even have. But by using KineMaster alone, you may not be able to get the result you want. So I suggest you to use all four of these apps together to get the best results. By combining the highlight special feature of each of these apps, you can make beautiful looking videos. Okay, you have already heard the names of the best apps I was going to suggest to you. By the way, check out the video description for download links to all of these apps. And well, the best apps that I would like to suggest are Number 1, Filmora Go Number 2, Cyberlink Power Director Number 3, Adobe Premiere Clip Number 4, Kine Master Pro Now let's take a look at the highlights of each of these apps. All four of these apps are packed with a ton of great features and the one thing that I noticed is that Adobe Premiere Clip is the only app that is 100% free which means you don't need to pay anything to use this app. Adobe Premiere Clip offers many features, especially those related with audio controls which are really useful for certain types of videos and there is no ads in this app. Now let's take a look at the highlights of Filmora Go. Out of all four of these apps, Filmora Go features the best user interface. You can feel it by yourself. Now it's, it's really easy to use and mostly self-explanatory. This user interface is way ahead of other apps like Cyberlink, PowerDirector or KineMaster Pro. Also, Filmora Go has the best selection of title presets. And well, if you have enough money, then you can get more titles, effects and transitions from their online store which is integrated within the app and that's also pretty cool. Filmora Go gives full control over audio, video, music, effects, titles, transitions and almost everything that you would probably need. Also, Filmora Go is the best app which in, lets you add over a video or image. Now let's take a look at this, what Cyberlink has to offer. Cyberlink Power Director is also a really powerful app. Its highlight is that it enables multi-layer editing. Even though you can't add more tracks, you can use the existing ones and still get great results. That's a great collection of cool transitions and effects. Now let's see what Adobe Premiere Clip has to offer. Among these four apps, Premiere Clip is the most minimalistic. To use this app, you will need to sign up to the Adobe Creative Cloud. Adobe Premiere Clip is the easiest one to use, but it lacks many features that you could get from the other three apps. But if you want to edit to the bits, then there is no app that can replace this one. Premiere Clip automatically recognizes the beats in the music and adjusts the cuts to match that. Once you use it, you'll fall in love with this app. If you're someone who you just want to put a music in a video and slice, then Premiere Clip might be the best app for you. 
Now let's see what KindMaster has to do with it. KindMaster is a really cool app with a minimalistic user interface. It's easy to use and pretty much self-explanatory. The app has features like handwriting over the video and good titles. This is also a pretty good video editing app. You can overlay videos or photos just like you could do on a film or a go with this app. But you'll need a basic idea of video editing to use this app. KindMaster is a really good app to edit videos if you know how to do it. So I hope you understood the highlight features of all these four apps and here's the conclusion. If you are a beginner, then Adobe Premiere Clip would be the app that you'll need. The one highlight of Adobe Premiere Clip is that it doesn't have any watermark and it is absolutely free of ghost whereas the other three apps I have stated will add a watermark to your videos unless you pay for it. If you are really thinking of investing a little bit of money in any of these apps, I think Filmora Go would be the best all-rounder app in this list. Filmora offers everything a video editor needs and it's got the best UI of all. If you can get all four of these apps, I mean they're pro versions, then you can edit like a pro and get great results. If you don't mind having a creepy watermark on your videos, then download them all and try making a video using them. Make sure you understand the special features of all four of these and make use of them at the right moment. By combining these four apps, I guarantee you will be able to make great videos. I hope this video helps and if it did, then please subscribe to the channel and enable notifications. Click the thumbs up button doubts in the comments and I'll try to reply to them all of them thanks for watching see you guys in the next video